we have to change from doubter to believe. Good morning, everyone. Just a quick uh, group update video, uh, just to let you know what's going on today and also what's going on in the next few weeks and that. As you seen last night from my status, we're going to do a bit of fundraising because we haven't. Really, we did it for AFC Liverpool and managed to raise 300 quid about a year and a half ago. And uh, I think they're all right. I think the government's sort of covering their back, so there's no need to do another one of them. Uh, so I was just thinking to myself, local food, food banks, it'd be nice to do something for them. And obviously we've got like a bit of equipment, but we haven't really got that much uh, stuff. So I just thought, you know what, let's just give it a shot. And obviously I'm going to chuck in my champagne bottle that I collected from the podium the day we, well, it was literally the morning after we won the Premier League uh, with the players drinking it <laughs> that night. But yeah, I've had it on my shelf for quite a bit now. And I just think that might, somebody might enjoy that. So that's, uh, I'm chucking in that with a flag. As you can see behind me, I've put up Jurgen uh, Klopp. Thank you, Jurgen. This is a nice banner. That's our FIFA Champions badges. He uh, contributed to our, our flag welcome, which was really well received by giving us uh, about, I think it was about 20 flags he chipped in out of about, about 80 that we had flag wise and about 50 scarves. So he played a massive part. So thanks to him for that. Morning, James. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm at work. Uh, this afternoon I'm doing a uh, two till ten so uh, I, will, I won't be watching the game tonight so Craig Farragher is going to go live for 15 minutes before kickoff so you can get your thoughts let him know what you're thinking team lineup so team news on at seven o'clock then he's going to be live at, so four times possibly so he's going to be live at quarter uh, at seven o'clock for team news breaking then he's going to be live at quarter to eight for you to all get your information uh, comments out morning Stephen as to what you're thinking of the game what kind of system you think we should play should we go counter-attack uh, etc and you know just talking about the game so then he's going to come on again at half time for 15 minutes so you can all talk about how the match is going what you think should happen again talking about the match and then we always say if we win or draw, we'll go live for 15 minutes after the game because if we lose, it normally is just everybody arguing with each other and it won't be very enjoyable. So we always leave that to the morning after, which I think is quite wise. Uh, morning, Rob. Uh, squad, I reckon tonight, uh, James, I think it'll be Fabinho and Phillips at centre-back, I think left-back. Uh, the predicted team's going up in a minute because Craig's going to be doing it. So I'll give you mine quickly. I think it'll be Alisson in goal, Trent right-back, Fabinho and Phillips centre back, left back Robertson, my midfield three, I'll go for the tried and trusted. Ronaldo and Thiago, well, Ronaldo with Thiago and uh, Curtis Jones to start my midfield three, and the front three is just picks itself. I'm going to go for Bobby and Mane and Salah. Why wouldn't he go for the ones that have got into finals before? So that's my starting 11. Uh, Going to back what I was about to say, yeah, so thanks to FIFA Champions for the for the banners. Uh, that one's a great one, that is. I've got another great one there, Trent has other on, you can just see in the corner there, look. This is a great one, and uh, we're thinking about putting them out for Palace, not because we're trying to inspire the fans like last time, but I just think it would be nice for all of you that have had to miss Anfield to come on the day that I think we can all congregate anyway, because by the 23rd of May, I'm sure that there just won't just be the 10,000 fans that are in here. It's the last game of the season. I reckon that outside is going to be packed because we have waited over a year to do that, which is why I'm going to throw in the barbecue, uh, and which is why, uh, yeah, we should have a great day, basically, to be honest with you. I'm really looking forward to the 23rd of May now, and I'm hoping we go on a real good run in the Premier League now. And can you imagine if we just need to beat Palace and hope results go our way? For, for Champions League qualification. I mean, come on, what a last day that'll be. And that could happen. Let's not forget, we've still got to play Arsenal. We've still got to play uh, Manchester United away. We've still got to play... Uh, have we got Leicester again? I'm sure we have. Or maybe we haven't. I don't know. Anyway, we've got 11, 10 games left. That's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. That's 24 points still to play for. We're seven off Champions League. I know some have got games in hand, but West Ham ain't going to win every game from now to the season. Everton ain't going to win every game from now to the season. And Manchester United won't win every game from now to the season. Yeah, they beat Man City. But Man City, they, you could tell by the interviews that they, De Bruyne had before the game where he goes, yeah, we could actually lose this game and still win the league. So you could tell they were not even playing in first gear. And Man United caught City on a really great day. 
and uh, and and as usual, a penalty after thirty seconds always always uh, makes you settle well, doesn't it? So yeah, so that's it. So the fundraiser it's going to be sat there till the twenty third of May. So you don't have to fundraise. You know, even if you're chipping two quid, I'm not bothered. It all helps. And don't forget that if you're sending me two quid, a pound a, a pound is going to equipment for D2B TV, and a pound's going to the food bank. And I will personally contact the food bank once i start seeing it growing and i will also mention that they can come down and have a photo of us on the on the crystal palace the game day and we can hand over the money then uh which is a great idea so just just think look at it like that and obviously you get a doubt with the believers banner uh which i think is It's here somewhere. I'll find it in a bit. So you get that was the believers banner with these European cups on it, and you get the uh, the bottle that was a. Uh, I might as well show it on the video, Anna. Yeah, this is what when I had to clean up the podium in the morning. This was on the floor with two others, and my colleagues got got the other two. So it's actually Bell and Co. It's actually German alcohol free sparkling delicious fresh well it's supposed to be champagne but it says zero alcohol because obviously they're athletes they're not going to drink alcohol there uh and i think it was to respect marnie and salah as muslims but just listen to this what's in it and bear in mind it's supposed to be champagne a refreshing and finely balanced non-alcoholic drink combining sparkling fermented grape juice blended with premium green tea and that's supposed to be a champagne so yeah, that will be going to somebody's home. And if you've got a man cave, and if you've got like some, what conversation piece that is, if someone says to you, what's this? And you go, that's actually one of the bottles that Klopp and the players were all, I think uh, Hendo's got well, two of these in his hands passing them because he was captain. I've got videos as well. But I mean, even some of the, the confetti, because you've got to remember, this was stuck to the bottom of the the, the actual podium. And you've got messages on the on the confetti saying we stand together uh, and stuff like that look at that one on the back look we love you liverpool always i can't try and get it so you can see it a bit better we love you liverpool and it's just great so i mean like i say that is a that is a piece of history you can say that they've had the actual bottles of champagne that the players were drinking out of on the day that we won our first league title in 30 years so that I'm hoping helps us boost not just the food banks the donation but also towards our TV channel as well because why not everybody does fundraisers I mean stupidly Craig showed me something yesterday where can you believe that Mbappe fundraiser is actually at four grand and there's people that have sent 200 pound anonymously do these people actually think that we're going to buy Mbappe with a flipping GoFundMe page I mean <laughs> it blows me away uh, so yeah, this is a better reason than that. That's just living in Club Planet Cuckoo Land. And if you've got 200 quid to chuck at Mbappe's GoFundMe page, then I wish I had your life. Let's just say that. So yeah, if you can get involved, I'd really appreciate it. You know how we work, you know, like we did with the flag welcome. We don't do anything for for personal gain, but sometimes you need you need help. And uh, what well, who best to ask it, it, than, than our own supporters, along with the fact that we can then donate say if we hit our target well we were going to put it at a grand but we thought well why why put it at a grand because if it goes over then you may as well just put it at an astronomical amount and if we can even get to 20 percent of that i'm happy so even if we got to 500 pound then it'd be 250 quid to d to b tv and 250 pound to the local food bank and we would be having a photo with the food banks uh, with with the money so it would all be on record because at the end of the day we want to do it right so if you can get involved you've got no rush you've got till may the 23rd to go for me page will be constantly rotated on this group and it's not a pressurized thing it's if you can it's hard times at the moment we've got a bloody pandemic some people are on furlough some people are, i understand but at the end of the day that's the only way we're going to survive this storm of if we all try and pull through it together and that's the way i think of it anyway i've got to go to work this afternoon so good luck uh i say good luck craig you'll smash it you'll be fine uh support him in every way possible just like you do me uh got to bear in mind this is his first few videos uh and it is difficult i mean i've been doing this now for years because before i started that as a believers i was always doing my videos on my personal facebook anyway so i've been doing this for donkeys really so Enjoy your day. Let's hope we go into the next round because I wanted to say quickly what a game last night Juventus Porto was. It was absolutely gripping. And I'll tell you something now that's Juventus out now. 
Uh, Sevilla went out yesterday to Dortmund. Sevilla are a bloody good side, so they would have been tricky over two legs. Dortmund, is it in the stars? I reckon that's who we're going to get. If we go through to that, I've got a feeling we're going to get Dortmund. I really have. But let's not forget that the Champions League final will have supporters. It will have fans because the Super Cup final had fans last year, 20,000. So you can imagine if the Euros are going to have fans, because they're going to be letting fans... If we're allowed 10,000 for Crystal Palace on May the 23rd, the Euros, they're going to have, they'll have fans in every single stadium, won't they, clearly? Because why are they going to do it the 23rd of May for Liverpool and then the Euros and the Champions League final having nothing? So this is it. We're eight to ten weeks now away from a little bit of normality resuming. So I hope you're all well. You all keep safe uh, as best as possible. And I'll speak to you all tomorrow. In fact, no, last thing before I go, predictions on the game against Leipzig tonight on this video now. So start banging your predictions on this video right now. I'll actually put it in the title so people can see it as well. Get your predictions for a free Liverpool scarf. We have got no end here. Uh, let me just show you. I mean, we have so many uh, scarves. I mean, even with the, the, the sticky bit still on it, so they're all brand new. All of them were donated for the scarf welcome, so we might as well give them out as a prediction prize. So these are what you can win if you get the right prediction for the game against Leipzig. And yeah, you'll never walk alone and I'll see you all soon.